Manufacturing of the future is like is going to involve three fundamental pillars that in some way are pushing the edge of what has come before and taking it into new territory to provide new services, new products and completely new materials and systems are needed to enable that. The first of these is what we call process science and engineering. The second of this is robotics and automation. And finally, the third is data analytics, cybersecurity and AI. At the heart of what ties these three together is really what we're calling advanced manufacturing. And that is where we believe the jobs of the future are going to be created. That's where what we believe will form the foundation for innovation in the future. One technology that has disrupted this way of limiting our thinking to specific domains is additive manufacturing, what we also call 3D printing. We are able to combine materials in ways that we were not able to before. Now we are able to take 3D printing, combine materials in space, modify the allocation of material one, the allocation of material two. It allows us to further improve performance of material systems more than we can today. What we're able to do with 3D printing is now actually design this honeycomb panel where it doesn't have to look the same everywhere. I can create different kinds of structures. I can change the size of the cells that make up this honeycomb panel spatially. All of this is enabled by that combination of new materials, computational design tools, and a manufacturing process that allows me to push what I was able to accomplish before into a newer performance domain. The key aspect of the STC that is different is that the core of everything the STC does is industry engagement. If we fast forward a couple of years, we have a thriving ecosystem of faculty members, of industry partners, and of students and staff all working together to solve problems and create that next wave of jobs that came out of the SDC. If we see that happening, that means we've been successful.